We have learned that when R comes next to an A, it likes to control the A and make the sound R. And when an O is next to an R, it likes to control the vowel and say the sound OR. In an accented syllable, AR and OR say R and OR. A one-syllable word is always accented. So if we have the word C-A-R, A-R is going to say R and the word is going to be car. In a one-syllable word, that syllable is always accented. So F-O-R-K would say fork, with O-R saying or. There are times, though, that AR isn't in an accented syllable, it's in an unaccented syllable. And when that happens, the AR says er, like in this word. Beg is the accented syllable, and AR is saying er, beggar. Here is another example where AR is in an unaccented syllable. Doll, er. Dollar. AR is saying er in an unaccented syllable. We don't say dollar, we say dollar. Let's read a couple more examples where AR is saying er. Here we have collar. It's not collar, it's collar. Now we have the word. Pillar and custard. AR is saying er. OR usually says or, but in an unaccented syllable it says er, like in this word doctor. We don't say doctor, we say doctor. So let's practice with OR in an unaccented syllable. We have tracked, which means to pull, and then we add OR and it becomes tractor. We don't say tractor, we say tractor. Then we have M-I-R-R, mirror, and then OR becomes mirror. And then we have past, her, pastor. So in this lesson, we've learned that AR and OR say R and OR, but in an unaccented syllable, they will say ER, like in dollar and in tractor. So have fun reading this week with AR and OR in an unaccented syllable.